Oh, it's the start menu. Hello, my name is Katie Scoop, and welcome to Back Home for Christmas. This is the game I found on Itch.io. It is a cute Christmas game about a penguin that's trying to find its way back home. Heart. It was the night before Christmas, in a place white and cold. The cute little penguin was out for a stroll. I love it! along filled with glee, filled with joy. In his flipper, he cradled his favorite toy. Little did the penguin know that on this fateful day, a cold breeze, a gust of wind, would no. blow his favorite toy away. So he looked and he looked, his beak covered in frost. He looked up from his search and realized, oh no, I am lost. We gotta find our toy, we gotta make it back home. Oh, I love him! Not only his toy, but his path was gone too. And our poor little penguin knew not what to do. That's something, I think. So he began walking with no hope in sight. Oh, there's something over there. <gasps> Until, from a distance, he could see a small light. As he moved ever nearer, it was clear it was a home. And outside, in the front, he could see a small gnome. There is a gnome! We are the littlest penguin and we are adorable! The gnome shoveled this way and that and was squinting and muttering, Fiddlesticks! They have gone missing! He dug in the snow as the penguin, quite shy, cleared his cold little throat and said, Mister, might I ask your help? I don't know where I am. I am lost. I can't find my way through the snow and the frost. The gnome said, I would like to help you. I would, but my glasses are gone and my sight isn't good. If I could but find them, if they could be found, then I could assist you. They must be around. Where did you have them last? Asked the penguin, so cute. The gnome thought and answered, While gathering fruit, I was out picking berries, and the snow, how it fell. It frosted my lenses. I couldn't see well. I removed them to wipe them, but they slipped from my hand. And now they are gone. So you must understand that were I to guide you, you might go astray. If I can't find my glasses, I can't see the way. I'm gonna the find this little, little gnome's glasses. Felt sympathy for the sad, sightless gnome, and he set out once more. But instead of attempting to get home in haste, he would look for the glasses the gnome had misplaced. Maybe this rock was the place where he'd find the gnome's glasses, but no, they were nowhere behind. Not really far for his. Berries. Could the glasses be here on the stump of this tree? They were not, it appeared. But where could they be? He's a nice little gnome. He left enough berries for all the little animals. He's not greedy. The berry bush seemed like a wise place to search. Ah, there they are. And there, on a branch, like a bird on its perch sat the glasses just where they had fallen and so the penguin retrieved them and turned back to go fall off Boop. <laughs> first i was like i don't want the little penguin to fall but then i was like what if he does a cute little animation he'd get back to the gnome and return him his sight then once again face his disheartening plight. Being lost wasn't fun, 
But the penguin was glad that he'd gotten to help and was happy he had. Yeah. For a helpful little penguin. Oh, we're going to have to follow the candy canes, I think. Why, you found my glasses. The tiny gnome cried. I can't thank you enough. Will you join me inside? The penguin said. Thank you, Button Gold, for I should try to find my way home to this cold, lonely wood. The gnome said, oh yes, you had mentioned before that you knew not the way to your very own door. Well, now that I see, I am happy to say those candy canes there, they will show you the way. They glow! Thank you, cute little gnome. I appreciate you. <laughs> So cute! Oh, I can't handle it. The snowman does not have his face. The penguin continued to walk down the track. When he came to a crossroads, and taken aback, he tried to decide which direction to go. But without a clear answer, just stood in the snow. You look like a guy who's in need of a hand, came a voice, and the penguin did not understand where the voice could have come from. For no one was there, save for three mounds of snow, piled up in the air. Down here, said the voice. Turn those peepers yeah. down south. I may look like pebbles, but I'm a really a mouth. On the ground lay some buttons, a carrot, some stone, which moved as it chaffed in the snow on its own. You need some guidance, said the stones, and I reckon we can work something out if you give me a second and put those there bits that you see in their place, you get your directions, and I get my face. Oh, we're doing it. Okay, let's give him a nice cute little nose. Right there. As a face maker, you've got impressive technique, said the snowman. And look, now we both got a beak. Now we both better, got a beak. Said. This was a good plan. Let me take a good look at you, now that I can. I put his nose too low. The snowman was oh, proud of the features he wore. He thanked his new friend and said, Look, I am sure that you won't have no trouble if you go to the right. But make sure that you're out of the woods before night. Ooh. Love you, Mr. Snowman. So helpful. The penguin did not stick around, wait, or dawdle, and set off at once to the right with a waddle. But though he walked on just as fast as he might, soon dusk was upon him, and thereafter came night. Oh no! No man said not to. Why, it's at too night. dark to see, said the bird with a chill when he tripped and he slipped. Oh no! Oh my god! Side of a hill. We're a speedy penguin. Oh no, there's trees. Deep in the woods, in the dark, all alone. Frightened and tired and chilled to the bone, the poor little penguin, under stars bright and twinkling, was certain he heard, far away, a light tinkling. Was the sound he heard crickets? Was it ice in the trees? 
or perhaps running water or a lyrical breeze. As he moved ever nearer, though it seemed far away, he felt sure it was bells, like you'd find on a sleigh. The penguin was moving past branches and bark when a man turned around and stepped out of the dark. The man Santa. Said, my goodness, you're only a child. What brings a young penguin out here in the wild? It wasn't on purpose, said the cold little bird. Perhaps, said the man, I could see you chauffeured to your home in my sleigh. For unless I am wrong, it's the next on my route. And the trip won't take long. After waving goodbye to the man dressed in red, the penguin was eager to climb into bed. He was glad to be home, but his grief was still there, for his toy remained lost in the cold winter air. I forgot about our toy. But his mama was waiting with a blanket and tea. There were songs in his heart and bright lights on the tree. Even without his toy, he could hardly believe just how happy he was on this cold Christmas Eve. Something lost, something found, Santa. I hope you enjoyed this short little cute Christmas story back home for Christmas. I know I did. I <laughs> it made me so happy. Uh, let me know if you want to see me play more cute little games like this. I would be happy to. And if you have any recommendations, put them down in the comments below. Leave a like on this video if you would be so kind. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.